Springtime is a miraculous season. The whole world comes alive after the winter in which it seems dead. The country is filled with color and scent of delicious greenery. In Marondera, the capital of Mashonaland East Province, the thriving breadbasket of Zimbabwe, popular for the best schools in the country, Marondera town is situated about 70 kilometers from Harare. It takes one and a half hours to drive from the Harare International Airport to Marondera, which is an emerging hub of unique tourist destinations such as Tsindi Ruins, Gosho Natural Conservatory and Imire Game Parks. Springtime sees the dominant indigenous Msasa tree going beneath the hard ground in search of water preparing for rebirth, regeneration and renaissance. The Shona call this time Fumbuza. It is a time that gives hope for rejuvenation, a new of our own lives as well. It is a time for the excitement and zest for life that lives inside of us. Dream to revive uh, us in Mashonal and East Province. Well, it started from 2007. That's when uh, we initially started uh, arts promotion. But uh, Revival Arts Trust was registered officially uh, in 2013. Uh, in 2007, we worked with several guys. We had uh, Cultures in Harmony, uh, a group from the United States of America that came to uh, participate in workshops and uh, just basic training of uh, music uh, at Kotfi Agents. Then uh, in that same year, we also managed to collaborate uh, Eyes for Africa, uh, that is run by Dr. Solomon Guramatunu, uh, who is one of our sponsors since 2007 to date. So basically, uh, the dream was because of arts was being taken for granted. Uh, in the society uh, that we are living in, there is a preconceived notion in the society that says arts is being done by people who are not educated or people who do not have anything to do. So our dream or our aim and vision as an organization is to have that notion uh, from the society to really promote the artists themselves and have them uh, participate or uh, be part of uh, the development of the world in itself and uh, we want people to know that uh, arts and culture can be a means of sustainable development or sustainable livelihoods in the community. The Revival Arts Trust of Zimbabwe, an affiliate with the National Arts Council of Zimbabwe, through its founder Ronald Badza, birthed Pumbuza Festival. The festival is a youth-led initiative that is conscious of present demographical needs with immediate spheres and all social divides. One of its key objectives being that of creating a platform to give equal opportunity to artists in and outside Marondera. The 19th of August marked the birth of a new creative arts festival in Zimbabwe. It was held from three venues, Wise Owl School, where the opening cocktail was done, Marondera Country Club and the Green Park where the Carnival Sunday was held. The workshops were so very important as uh, we see that most artists are not, uh, do not have the knowledge or are not empowered on how to organize their stuff and how to uh, market their products. So workshops were there to empower artists with knowledge and information so that they can produce quality products. Cultures in Harmony were part of the music conductors who were at the workshop. Them being part of Juilliard School of Arts and Music, one of the best schools in America. So by their visit now it gave the local artists and in Marondera the opportunity to be part of the best uh, music tutors in the world. Uh, being part of the workshops uh, shows that Zimbabwe and Marondera can be something that can go international. We started off from Woodza with uh, workshops to teach the artists themselves and uh, we had sound engineering workshops 
then we had just uh, general uh, music workshops that were focusing on arts administration and, and issues affecting the artists themselves. Young people who took the eye of the patrons during carnival are pupils from Dombojuku Primary School in Murewa with their Mbende Jerusalem dance. Other young artists who took part in the festival include two young sisters aged six and eight respectively.
women made a significant impact on the festival, leaving revelers craving for more. Visual and fine artists decorated the arenas with their aesthetic art that also mirrored socio-economic hardships affecting the country. I am Alfred Masunda, a digital artist. Um, I work with graphic design and digital illustration mostly. That is because I really love working digitally and working with the computer since it is like the new age that is what we're moving to. Um, so to introduce you to my work, I'm going to like show you these two pieces. Um, these are titled Flamed One and Flamed Out Two. This is a series of works of which I was concentrating like on the issues happening in Zimbabwe, like um, where people find themselves being jobless having nothing to sustain themselves with. So this first piece, this flamed out, um, this is saying that you can see this is a candle. This is someone who has lost his spirit. He's gone to college, he has done all his studies, he has de his degrees and everything, but he's unable to find a job. So it's like his spirit and his ideas and his dreams have been crushed. So like the way we blow out a candle, we, we find people being flamed out, having no reason, having no reason to go on and feeling like out. So um, this is the continuation. This is a piece two, piece number two, where we see like a person having, finding comfort in his troubles well, even though he has nothing, he still finds himself at peace, fi trying to go on. We can see that this is still a candle, but it has gone out and he's crying, yes, he's, um, his spirit has been crushed. Um, he still wants to go on, but it, 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 makes, uh, it makes it like... Um, he hasn't fallen out because we have to stand up for our families. We can show them that we we have nothing to do, um, but we just try to go on. We try to make the best of what we have. 
Um, so that is the, like, the situation that is currently going on in Zimbabwe. Like, um, maybe most people don't really know what is happening like, in our homes and stuff. Uh, like, what happens like, after a person loses their job? Where do they go? How do they carry on? So I think that is the main purposes, purpose of art for being the voice of the people, talking about how people are and what is the situation like and how we can be able to correct the situation and move on and hopefully make a better Zimbabwe. On an international scale, a group from the United States of America, Cultures in Harmony, brought a classic music feel that had the whole town radiating with emotive scores from a violin, a viola, and a silo combination. Tino Kuchinga Mizai. Makadini. Let's see, what else? Ndafara uh, Kukuoma. And the other thing I know is Tatenda, so thank you for coming. My name is William Harvey. I'm the founder and executive director of Cultures in Harmony which is an organization based in the USA. We promote cultural understanding through music, um, and this is actually our 10th anniversary. So over the last 10 years, we've conducted about 35 projects in 14 countries. Um, and in each project, we collaborate with local musicians. Sometimes we teach young musicians. Um, we'll collaborate with humanitarian organizations. We uh, engage with the media, and all of this has the goal of promoting the idea that music is the universal language. Music reminds us that we have more in common than the differences that may appear to divide us, and that those differences are actually a cause for celebration. So for us, when we come up on stage and uh, perform alongside Zimbabwean musicians, what we're hoping to show you is that we, um, as Americans, as musicians, but above all as human beings, we have a lot to learn from you, from your wonderful culture with its beautiful music and beautiful traditions. We have a lot to learn, and so when we perform with Zimbabwean musicians, that's, um, that's what we, we hope to show you, and we hope you come away from our concerts with the message that music uh, brings us together. So we'll be occasionally throughout the afternoon collaborating with uh, different groups of, of musicians from here. One major success of the Fumbuza Festival was to bring about cultural diplomacy and understanding through collaborations by fusing classic Western culture with the Zimbabwean beat, pulse and rhythm.
the revival arts trust dream to fuse cultures was fulfilled with the peter house music group facilitating oliver mutuguzi performance with an 80 member orchestra <laughs> festival managed to utilize the public spaces to entertain the public with local and international talent. This gave Marondera and Mashonaland East Province a rare opportunity to host an arts festival of a global magnitude which is normally circumscribed to Harare and Bulawayo. The future looks bright and the support Fumbuza has started receiving is quite promising. The organizers are already planning a bigger festival. For our festival, uh, second edition in 2016, uh, we are planning a bigger festival and uh, in this festival we are mainly focusing on arts education because the artists themselves need to get educated first before they actually are given the platform to uh, communicate with the world out there. They need to know how to conduct themselves and uh, how the just general arts conduct, uh, code of conduct. So, because we, our intention is to create sustainable livelihood for the same artists, so they need to learn so that they become even supporters of their own families and they can also groom other up upcoming artists and really start the promotion of even more artists rather not only focusing on Fumbuza but um, having other initiatives as well uh, flourish uh, within uh, the community. Uh, then also our main, our other objective is to promote peace and uh, reconciliation among the community and uh, really uh, have a platform that uh, creates uh, dialogue within uh, the, the people around not only our community but in the world as well. So for the next year we are hoping that given sponsorship that uh, we are anticipating will come through, uh, we have more, more workshops uh, targeting uh, different age groups and also targeting um, different genres of art so that uh, we can reach a broader spe spectrum per se for all the other represented uh, art sectors in the country. 
we also want to engage um, more schools and really start grooming uh, artists, young artists at a tender, at a tender age so that uh, they can become uh, professional artists as they grow. Uh, our intention also is to have um, our local artists getting the chance to really uh, knowing what is being done in the arts out there in the sense of uh, what new technologies there through cultural collaborations or cultural exchange programs we have maybe groups from the United States, England or any other country come through and share their views and information so we are also having debates or discussions for next year on whether or uh, we can implement uh, certain technologies that are being used in the world out there, the developed countries, and how best we can have those people in those countries assist us to become uh, better artists as well. The next edition of Fumbuza is on the cards already. Penciled for August and September period, more sponsors and donor participation will see the festival promoting more artists, both locally and internationally. The Revival Arts Trust appreciates the support of the following sponsors who saw them through the Maiden Festival. Brook Ridge Hardware, Mr. Kudenga, Mr. Tendaupenyu, Mrs. Badza, Dr. Guramatunu, IT Center, Billy St. John of Peterhouse Music Group, Wise Owl Group of Schools, and Danship. Many thanks to the organizing team that comprises Michael Mapira, Vimbayim Zariri, Rumbizayim Sengi, Mrs. Tatenda Nyahada, Leonard Mutswatiwa, Ronald Baza, Busimpuli, Tracy Million, and Petronella Jelly. <laughs>